forcing him way out of the lane so his Terrorblade could just spread his full wings. And nice reading from Mind Control, just uh, juking that uh, shard. Uh, also interesting build on uh, Afterlife Top, we didn't mention it. Uh, he went for a Sandstorm, a level 1, uh, because they didn't have any sentries, so he got an extra level just from the creep wave. Uh oh, mid lane! Sunstrike actually connects! And GH helps set it up, leads in with a good crush and helps get the smack down there. GH will pick up the first blood. Get the heavy burst power to yeah, but maybe with the in. with an extra three damage, she can <laughs> turn into damage dealer. I, yeah, mean, I, the, see. I mean, the talents for Marana allows her to be a magic damage dealer or just right clicker. Yeah. Top lane. Yeah, it's Kuro potentially going to get trapped within Not these so shards. Nice to set up from Sayoma, but he's going to go for the grave, TP out, and there's no way to stop him with the burrow already committed. Not going to quite be available for Vega. You know, they could have those TPs at the ready and maybe try to pull something out, but it's going to be a, a bit tough here. My control getting zoned back quite a bit from, from Silent as they fight over this pull camp. But the second he makes that move in for it, that's when GH looks to strike. He gets him with a crush in the Iron Shell, and it's going to be easy pickings there for Miracle to finish off with the Sun Strike. My control heading out the other direction, getting burned a bit, but. Oh, he doesn't make it back inside. Silent actually gets the kill at the last moment Whoa. here. Meanwhile, GH swinging it about, gets the takedown of the Terror Blade. Ends up losing his own life, but he's like, Word. Yeah, also Miracle uh, died to Sanking and uh, G. He's missing. Uh, level 7 Void. Uh, what is he gonna go for? Seems like um, Lincoln Spear, maybe? There's oh. the Chrono. Oh! oh. He gets up, he gets a nice convenient bash, but the snowball was there! He does manage to still get a forgiving catch on that chrono, but it's gonna be a bit too late. Get some good smacks, the sun strike is gonna be not there in time because he happened to burrow on forward and the Sunder comes out from his ally in need. They are gonna be able to get the finish on Sayoma. It looks like GH looking to run the other direction, but G's rotated over and he's hoping to get a piece of that and he will. It actually is gonna be Afterlife, of course, picking it up. Kind of a buff as well. Uh, leap, uh, you get more uh, bonus attack speed, uh, but it lasts uh, less time. So maybe Sorry. for a pushing, especially with Terror Blade, it's good. That's true. Okay. Oh Whoa. my god, he actually almost self juked himself into that Sun Strike, but does manage to make it out. He gets the Moonlight Shadow to help, and the Crush is also not there. Talking about earlier the the Chrono Sun Strike that was supposed to be there but wasn't, and now another Sun Strike kill attempt not going to be there. And GH is looking to commit in deep. Silence nearby. There goes the Epi. It's going to come out. The Rock's going to be on top, and here comes Sayoma. It's a Vega fight, folks, right behind the tier one, and they make clean and easy work of those two Liquid members. It will always have some good value throughout this game, definitely even in the later part. Oh, look at the positioning from G. He is behind the tower, still hiding in the dark, and suddenly he shows up. They're gonna do the burrow, they're gonna do the arrow. He should be able to get the star fall, and that will be the kill. G picks that one up and will leap away from the rotation coming in from GH. But there's Curl on the other side, and he pops G with a poison. Follow-up could be there, Sayoma. Long ball shards to fend them off, but it's not gonna be good enough. Snowball's there, but they got G under that chrono, and they'll finish him off with a sun strike. Now it is Vega, maybe looking for a bit of redemption. Shards, Burrow can't quite catch GH. He's able to double back the other direction, but here comes Aloha Dance. He's got the Metamorph, and Liquid decide to withdraw at that moment. So we're just gonna have to bail out. Middle tower is under and already Metamorph here Dyer's for Aloha Dance. He begins to grind away on the tier one. It looks like Liquid had totally other plans. They're just gonna Radiant's shift completely over to the mid lane. Fall. But look who's already gonna be there here. It's gonna be Vega shifting in. Burrow strike. With the epicenter, does some mild damage, but the follow-up uppercut's gonna be there. Miracle still holding on, but Tumma in the meantime gets a good chrono lockdown after life and will help him get the finish. Meanwhile, they will also take down Sayoma. Vega sent over a couple of support members to that mid lane to take a fight, but at the moment it's a good connection onto G. Vega are coming and pressuring through this top lane. They are gonna be doing it without their Terror Blade, who's currently residing at the bottom, but the second they see people rotating over, they go for the immediate burst onto Kuro, and they're gonna get him down before a grave could be seen. Miracle, though, going on to G, easily takes him down, locking him into place with the help of that freezing field, and now a wall fall up gonna be there as they try to get a catch onto Afterlife. Him and Silence stuck between sides, they can't get any additional things off, and it's gonna be Liquid! Run to Ransack right through the Vega side, and they will take down three. Those opportunities are not really presenting them, themselves at the moment. 
And then need to find an opening to go maybe even buy a smoke or try to go with the bottom ulti. Yeah. Is money. I think that may be happening right now. The supports might have just been able to pick up a smoke, but they get the initial jump onto G right now. And they commit oh, with a nice yeah. two-man stun. Moonlight Shadow also committed this, but that's oh, when GH up. steps in. He does get, I think, dust connection on the one, but he already had the amp damage onto G. Oh, they get an afterlife, it looks like. Actually, with a Sunstrike, they drop the crow, the rock's there, a vacuum pullback onto the wall, and Frantic Afterlife tries to make it back out. But Tumma Man looking to commit in with a chase, but gets hits with a snowball, and the walrus punch. Still gonna be fine here. Him and the right click and the iron shell. Nice shard block, but he hops right over it. Meanwhile, it is gonna be GH. Catching with Sayoma, there is a bur or an epicenter on the other side, but they can't quite find the finish at all. No one from Liquid gonna be going down from this. Imagine if she uses one or even two spells on top of that. Yeah. I believe that time dilation was also buffed at 7.06 as well. Oh, Link out before the damage is there. So Strike is not going to be on its mark, but they are able to spot out where Afterlife is. They're even going to commit in with the wall too. And just slowly able to right click him down. GH will get the last hit. They grieves and they keep on trucking. It was almost the tombstone put down for Sand King. Ahead of time. Radiance bottom yeah. tower uh, is under attack. Jesus, a talent tree Lens. looks plus eight agility, plus thirty attack speed. He, he wants to have a late game secured as well. All right, they make their move for GH, and they will get it. Hoping to look for more. The shards will not grab a hold. Not the Kuro, but Radiance they're still looking to take a fight. There's the metamorph. First swing gets the bash. They commit in with a chrono and a sun strike, and they're going to be able to burst apart the terror blade before he can get anything off. And now it's Liquid's approach. Sayoma and Silent and G are trying to frantically make it back inside. They will be forced to drop down the rock for a bit of a counter fight here. Commitment in and back as Matoma will shrug off the damage. The epicenter doing a lot of work on Kuro, but he's able to get the grave off and survive and makes the space away. Trouble now for Vega as Liquid could swing into later rounds and turn it right back over. That's and low. it looks like it will be. G can barely able to make it away. The dilation! Just running and doing work through Vegas team, and it could end up turning into a bit of a five-man wipe if they get a hold of Sayoma. Liquid want it, and they may get it. No, looks like Sayoma will survive, but so much damage had been done. Is that all they got? What else can they work with? Uh, Terrorblade has 10 k net worth, only two below uh, Invoker, but they he can't really do much in those fights. He, he needs to get the more items. A movement from GH is going to find the first connection onto G, but they're still hiding under the dark of the Moonlight Shadow here. Sayoma makes the roll on forward, and the Walrus Punch is there for Kuro, but he gets quickly surrounded in an approach that Vega are not satisfied with. Liquid frantic to catch anyone. If Vega don't make it away, this could be really unfortunate for him, and it looks like the Warlock is going to be the next one to suffer. Good lead in, and uh, GH again, setting up a lot of these plays too. He's able to scout out. Oh, the courier goes down too. He was able to scout out where Vega were initially, and Vega were just not comfortable with it at all. Away from the fights. Haste. Vega pull off for now and, and send Aloha Dance to the top lane to work from there, but he could find himself into trouble soon, too. Because already coming in, it's going to be the Invoker. Meanwhile, mid lane, it's Vega trying to go the offensive, and Mind Control's like, see you later. Surges up and walks on out. Up and above, though, that's when Miracle looks to strike. Can they take down this Terrorblade? He's able to Manta off and get the Sunder onto GH, but it's still not over yet. He actually commits the Metamorphosis and ends up going down. He can't even get the finish of GH, and it's now godlike for Miracle. But is that going to turn back into a trend again, you think? Uh, yeah, they should probably ban Invoker in the second game if they want to win. Oh, Tornado, Meatball, Deafening Blast. He's trying to heal himself, but he's gone. Godlike, somebody kill him. Nobody can. He's trying to get a quick snipe on the one support. Will not find the catch. Liquid will take their tier three, and that means that they can do shrines. So they promptly jump away to do so. Vega pop their smoke and look to go on the offensive. There's not much for them available to do, but if they need a time to be able to take a good fight, it's now or never. Matumba man popping smoke. Double man chrono. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the bubble. 
drops a chrono right on top of their heads. Perfect for Miracle to just hit it home with the rock. So that means there's going to be no rock drop from the Warlock on this one. They've already lost two. Tornadoes flying forward. Sayoma and Afterlife trapped within the mix, but they've already put their focus onto Aloha Dance, who could be dropping next. And it looks like that could be the case. He's able to turn around and get the Sunder off on the Mic Control. The Mic Control gets hit All with the right. grave, and Vega know that this one's over. And indeed, it was do or die, and it is die for Vega. Well, Liquid. They look good. They look good, man. All three games, really dominant, really one-sided games. 30-minute games, even 20-minute games with uh, that uh, Bristol Borg.